Hey guys, I'm Logan Ray and this is the April 21st review. Today we got a sports update with Ricardo and Ali. Thank you. Now with baseball and softball season coming to an end, we had a chance to speak to some of their players on how their season went. Alright, I'm here with Bo Barros. Bo, can you tell me about your next game? Well, we play Pasco on Tuesday, and then we play uh, Martin on Friday. And the next week we have North Crowley and Lamar, so those are some pretty tough games. So hopefully we can win those games and win out and make the playoffs this year. That's good. Do you feel confident about those next few games? I do, actually, because it's running the ball a lot better. And we're starting to like, all come together as a team. So hopefully we'll put it all together these next few games and win. Make right. close. Thank you. I'm here with Anna Alicia Loya and Ashley Irv, varsity softball players for Willis High School. Anna, how do you feel about senior night? I'm really sad, but I love those girls more than anything. And they're not just my friends, they're my family. Ashley, how do you feel about playoff run coming? Well, let me break this down from a fundamental standpoint. I think we're going to do great. We're going to hit dingers. And John we're going to in that. And we're going to head to the next level. Well, go Roos. Thank you. Back to y'all. Thanks, Ricardo and Ali. And good luck to the Fighting Roos for all their upcoming games. Next, we got Jerry with the Relay for Life news. Would you please explain how Relay for Life works? OK. Um, it's just a time when family members and friends can get together and they make their own teams and they walk around the, our track for a whole day and uh, raise money for like their cause or their person and like, raise awareness. And uh, they make it fun like with having games and stuff like that to draw a bigger crowd in. But it's basically to raise money and awareness for cancer. Communities and uh, within our community we have businesses that develop teams to help support an individual and those teams set up a camp uh, under a tent and they sponsor and raise money for their individual person. And they take turns walking the track to raise money for the individual that they are supporting. Depending on what kind of cancer they have, it's uh, a broad variety of great cancers that they're supporting, not just one specific. Well, thank you for your time, Mrs. Hawk and Alexa. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. The Parker County Relay for Life event is taking place on April 25th, 2015. If you aren't able to make the event, you are able to help by donating to a participant, team, or a Relay for Life event. I would like to have give a special thanks to Debbie and Amanda Broadway for helping us get the information on Relay for Life. Let's go back to you guys. Thanks Jerry, it's looking like we're going to have a good turnout for that Relay for Life. Next up we've got Zach and Braden with news on the talent show. Thanks guys, I'm here in the Weatherford High School Auditorium where they will be putting on their annual talent show. Last year they had many great talents from dancing to juggling to singing. This event brings in many students into this massive auditorium. Also this is a great way for, stu for the school to raise money for themselves by selling tickets so that the students can come support their friends while they show off their abilities. Hi, I'm here with Cayman Stoltz to learn about his talent for the talent show. Cayman, what are you doing? Um, I'm going to be playing guitar for my band Rivera at the talent show. Okay, uh, what, do y'all do covers or uh, original songs? Um, actually we're going to be playing our own original song, uh, okay. it's called Vertigo. Okay, um, are you anxious or excited or nervous for this? Um, I was nervous the first, whenever I first signed up, but now I'm just looking forward to it. Okay, so I, I realized when I was there y'all put in a lot of hard work. Uh, how many hours have you practiced? Um, we've been practicing about two to three times a week for the past four months prepping for this show. Nice, nice. Okay, thank you, Cayman. No, no problem. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Zach and Braden. I'll be sure to get my tickets early for the talent show. Speaking of talent, we have Katie and Amy here with the CTE classes. Weatherford High School has a lot of CTE or career and technical education courses. These courses are designed to help students prepare either for second level education or real, real world job situations and include, but are not limited to, HOSA, Criminal Justice, FFA, FCCLA, and TSA. Each of these courses recently took their competitive teams to state. Katie is with Miss Moreno who took her teams to state to tell us a bit more. The teams that we took to um, regional, everyone placed and they all advanced to state. Students competed in desktop publishing, debate, and transportation. It was 10 of the 14 that we took that placed at all. So we're we're really, really happy with our students' results. It just is a testament to the quality of work that our students can produce. Back to you guys in the studio. 
Thanks Amy and Katie and congratulations to all of our state competitors. Next up, and last but not least, with the year coming to an end, we have Jerry with the graduation news. With graduation right around the corner, some seniors are starting to get a case of senioritis as their freedom is just in sight. The class of 2015 graduation will take place at the Fort Worth Convention Center because of the sheer size of the graduating student body. While the ceremony will take place at 7 p.m. June 6th, seniors are required to get to the convention center an hour early for briefing and prep. While there isn't much information yet, the front office will have a senior packet printed around this time caps and gowns have come in on May 21st. The packet will outline details such as parking with maps of how to get to the convention center, dress code, and rules such as you can't have your keys and phone on you during graduation. Also, please take note that because of the new caps and gowns, you cannot borrow or wear one from a previous year. However, however Hearth Jones will be there on graduation night with the new cap and gowns for sale. Alright, I'm pretty excited to graduate this year. Back to you, Anchors. Thanks, Jerry. And that's going to be the end of the Roo Review for this week. Keep up the good fight, Roos.